Welcome back everyone to Piney Place the Wild Mage where I am back here in the Temple of Elemental Evil where now I must go to the fire, water, and air temples. First of all, let's check the scroll. The air temple quarters can be found in the passageway to the west of the air temple. Alright. So that is where we are going. The strong winds circulating this chamber suggest that this is, or was, the air temple. The air temple is not in very good shape at the moment. So let us head out into this direction and start our explorations. And I guess we go this way first to the western halls and the air temple quarters. That's right. Now to remember which way I need to go. Hmm. Well, first of all, let's try straight. Okay, wind down. Yeah, just take care of that. Yes, elemental evil versus. Elemental chaos, I guess, in my case. Alright, that's one bit on there. That's the way we entered, right? I think I want to go this, this way. This area of the temple once housed those faithful to the air temple. Now, the air temple is in disarray, and orcs have taken over these quarters. Hmm. That doesn't look like an orc. Ouch. Oh, uh, thanks. Whew. I missed one. Ah, where were we? This way. Spot hidden. Well, how about... Oh, one of these. I always am concerned when I see these things. Wondering, why are they giving me this free chest? Nimble five boots of physical... Oh, physical and magical resistance? Eh, uh, hey. Interesting. Not too sure which is better. All right, let's see. This is the northern halls. We don't want to go to the northern halls, so we will skip that. And head along this way. Oh, that's why someone came from behind. Hi. Okay, I wasn't expecting it to be that easy. How about this one? Nada. Then this way. A man in air temple robes stands huddled in the corner of this cold, dark room. Oops. Kelnos, the last cleric of the air temple, falls to the ground. You search on the wall above this rune is a small etching in the shape of a key. Right. All right. Good, we've dealt with that. So that means now we've got... Determine his plan. Oh, find. F oh, that's that's our ultimate thing. So I find the key. Oh, that's right. The key is now down in the air temple. So it's time to head us back to the air temple. That means going this way. And back out the door. So the air temple will be this way. 
I'm hoping I remember my directions properly. You would think after doing it the number of times I have that I would. Now, are we get on down here? Good. How about if I summon? I only have monster level one. All right. Well, maybe it'll be some small distraction. So everybody ready? I think. The air temple key sits behind a barrier on the altar. A note next to it reads. To be used with Kelno's express permission only. No exceptions. Fortunately, I already deactivated the barrier the that was there. The circling the room rush faster as the key is taken from the altar. Yeah, goodbye. All right, good. Now, I've already taken the key, right? Yeah. So that's one key in my possession. So now, I will go to this side first, water side. Appropriate, I got the swimmingly trait this time. All right, good. Water, yeah, that looks like water. Uh, and the water banner. Apparently, the air in this room is almost uncomfortably cool. Yeah, how about if I have my hireling bring in a a big spider? Okay, I guess we could deal with that. Oh. I forgot that there was a shrine here. Probably something they added that is to the Western Halls and Dungeon Level 3. Okay. Oops. I guess Pine Leaf cannot hit the broadside of a barn, apparently. Or even of a gargoyle. Now, I think I need something here. I get some water. I place it onto here. The shrine sits empty. The vial of water in the pocket begins to shine. As okay. you fill the pool, the barrier disappears. All right, there we go. Yeah, that's right. Let the spider tank for me. You're done. We're done. We're all done. Head out this way. Uh, how about, can I attack these guys yet? Probably not. Yeah, I didn't think so. Alright, so now let those two go away. Then when I Adherents of the water temple pray softly in this small chamber. A small piece of metal glints at the back of the room. Alright, anything here I can do to make sure that I don't die instantly? Well, there is always the face step thing. Maybe I could try that. The room begins to shake, and a shimmering wall appears at the entrance to the chamber. Oh, one shot at the gelatinous cube! Oh! Oh! I was expecting that to be a lot more dangerous than it was. Ah. All right. Well, heal me. Thank you. Okay, let's see. Water elementals, right? I'm pretty sure that's what I'll be facing in here. Oh, and a cleric. Oh boy, this thing is dangerous.
Deathly. Deathly dangerous, yes. Oh. Alright, the one side done. Now the other side. Crystal up. Second side. Not sure how the death of an elemental does that, but okay. That's two, three, yeah, you can do that. All right, good. We are open. We can leave. Interesting. That's on now. That one's no longer on, despite the fact that I've gotten through. Oh, well. Now, I suppose that means we have to go to the other side, the fire. On this side, we have the mollusk-like shapes over here. Nice and cool. And then it all turns to fire on this side. And I'll futilely break a couple of these. As if I'll ever get that... Smashable title here. Okay, now. Whoops. Okay. Hostile immediate. This chamber is much warmer than the outside passage. Come in, follower of flame. A stern voice echoes. You're just in time. Ooh, in time. Be hostile yet? Not yet. I guess those are just a couple of overexcited guards. Wait, this place looks warm. Now, do I have anything to keep me from burning to death? On the altar sits a small, cracked basin. Come, the cleric calls. Pay tribute to the fire. Pay tribute to the fire. Uh, yeah, I'll pay tribute to the fire by quaffing something to keep me from dying to the fire. Do I have something of that description? Potions of fire. Oops. Nothing in here. Why? I don't have any flame proofing stuff. No. Fire resistance. Four. <laughs> yeah, it's not going to help me all that much. And any spells I've got that may in any way help? It's probably not. I'm not exactly a very much of a clerical type or anything like that. So, I guess not. So, I'm going to have to blast them away quickly. Welcome, guest, to the Temple of Fire. We're honored by your presence. I am Aurin, prefect of this place. You're just in time for our ritual. Oh, what ritual is that? The daily ritual we perform here in the Fire Temple. A traditional sacrifice involves a fire heart, but if you don't have one, a simple monetary offering should suffice. Please approach the offering bowl. Right. An aura of evil surrounds this bowl, which awaits your offering. So, do I destroy it, or do I put in some platinum? And how much will satisfy him? Who cares? The prefect evil. roars with rage at the desecration of the altar. Right. Oh, 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 don't don't shoot fire at a salamander. Uh. And there you go, Sally. Uh. The 
leader of the Fire Temple grows quiet and still. The barrier surrounding the Fire Temple key dissipates, no longer preserved by the fervor of its strongest adherents. All right, well, take care of that. Now, we have all the keys. I think we have a couple more temple guards to fight through, and somehow I think they're hostile now. I wonder why. What did I do to them? I mean, other than killing their leader. Did you see just seeing the beer fly out when it, whenever it, it appears? There you go. Okay, so this is all done here. So I will rest up and think about what to do next. To the Southern Halls and Dungeon Level 3. Alright, let's see if this works. Ah, it leads to this room. The owl bear. Smack, smack, smack. Maybe a little bit too far that time. All right, now. Head out this way and look for dungeon level three. Looks like we've got a little bit of a. Oops. All right, we, we will just deal with the guards piece by piece. This way. Hey, your turn. Everybody okay? I except for the cultists, of course. This is to Western Halls and Dungeon Level 3. Right, now this way, we have a door. Hold on. Oh. Water barrier. I have a key to the water barrier. Is the... Fire barrier. I have a key to get by the fire barrier. The air barrier. I have a key to get past With the, the air barrier. With the four barriers dispatched, the way into Falrinth's chambers opens. <laughs> <laughs> That's the problem when, when they change the thing. Is because in the original version, you would, of course, still would have the earth key. And so you had to actually use four of them. But now you only use three of them. But then the... don't have the GM available to re-record that particular passage. Oh well. Let's into dungeon level three. Now uh, we can hit down here. Oh! <laughs> they... I forgot that they took out the mushrooms. Right, this is the X mushroom room. The X mushroom. Wait, it's a lot easier to get through here now. Okay. I was expecting a much bigger fight in this area. The stony visages in this room suggest this is the entryway to Falrinth's chambers. Alright, oops. Now that's what I expected. Alright, ooh, treasure! Good. 
and we go down there later and I am at full so I don't have to worry about doing that okay we've got some temple or the other now I believe through here we will get our ah but each of these areas is associated with a particular element let's see no well I mean they have banners for a particular element there's the fire there is the water. Hmm. Something's missing. But now we're getting ready for a boss fight. Good time to bring in that. New spider? Good. Nothing like a new and improved spider. How about also bringing in a celestial dog, even though its life expectancy will not exactly be long. All right, so what can we do here? The wizard Falrin floats high above this chamber. I know why you have come. Oh? His voice, but you're too late. Oh. Using the arcane power of the page I discovered, Zuggetmoy is nearly free. Suggestion: Elementals appear. Good. Now let, let's. Okay, I can't damage the Earth one here. I can damage the others. Just getting started. Really? Preach. Take care of that. Oh, okay, actually, I better get over to the water side so I can take care of the earth. Oh, we can take care of the keach. Yeah. Ouch! Let go of me, you fruit. Ah, missed it. Oh, missed him. Well, we'll see if we can do this. Falrin motions wildly, attempting to invoke a complex spell. But he never completes the gesture. His fight is already over. Ah, well, that was good. And let's head into his room and find out what he's got in here. Other than a great deal of room. He took all this for Ballard's himself. The chambers are dimly lit. On a table in the middle of the room sit a book, a skull, and a large sheet of some kind. Orb it of almost gold looks like a page from some enormous book. The Orb of Golden Death. Ah, the Codex page. Good. And the journal. This appears to be Farmart's journal. Turning back a few pages, you can read the Wither's most recent entries. Again, I have failed. I thought that surely the power of the Orb of the Golden Death would be enough to free Zuggetmoy from her prison. Yet the magical wars still hold fast as they have for centuries. There must be some other way. Oh? Very strange. Earlier today I detected a massive rupture in the planar membrane. And now the guards are reporting that the mysterious remnants all throughout the temple as if they appeared out of nowhere. The remnants are infused with the vast eldritch power, and perhaps I can use that power for my own purposes. I shall have the guards bring me every mysterious remnant that they find. Success! The guards have found 
brought me not just mysterious remnants, but two large metallic pages infused with the same strange magic power. By combining the power of one of those pages with the orb, I have managed to remove the wards on the first three doors. The energy released in the process did some damage to the temple, but a collapsed corridor or two is a small price to pay. The last door must be opened by Zagat Moy herself. I have traveled through the temple and given her the second pages. It is now just a matter of hours before Zagat Moy is free. Oh joy. If Falrinth's journal is to be believed, the demon Zugget Moy has nearly been freed. Ouch. Now we can head down this ramp. All the way down. Just put this here. The pedestal is a round indent on the top. It is the same shape as the skull. Okay, good. But most importantly, the chest. Darkest chocolate. Wonderful. And that's it for a little trip through the Temple of Elemental Evil, or at least the first half. But we do have the various sections, the earth, fire, air, and water sections to head on through. As for our Zugget Boy, I'm probably going to be putting a pass on that. But we'll decide what we're going to do further in the temple in the next episode of Piney Plays the Wild Mage.